Hi and welcome to tutorial 52 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. In this tutorial, and uh, incidentally I'm using TradeStation 8.7 here, we're going to be looking at how we can manage a pyramided trade and I've just set up manually here a trade that gets into three separate trades and uh, we want to get out of each one a certain number of bars after we get into the trade so we're getting out of the first one after a certain number of bars after the second one out of this out of the second one after a certain number of bars and out of the third one after a certain number of bars so let me just go through and uh, show you how I would get uh, this program working so first of all we need to create some dummy trades so I'm just going to do that putting in some particular dates this is a uh, a daily e mini chart so I don't need to put in times, I'm just putting in dates. So uh, that's uh, the 31st of August 2010, then by, it's going to give each one a name, and I'm just going to put in uh, a number of contracts, and these are just going to be market orders. So what I'm going to do is just copy those. Except I'm going to change the dates. So I'm going to make the next one the 8th of September. And uh, I'm going to make the next one the 17th of September. And uh, I'm going to give those each different names. It's going to be 2. This one will be 3. And different numbers of contracts just so that we can see those trades a little bit easier so I'm just going to verify that and we'll just see what that looks like on the chart so what we'll see now is that we're just getting into these three trades incidentally we can't see this very well so one of the things you can do when you're um, setting up a chart is just go format symbol and then under scaling just click here on the subgraph margins and we could just add a little subgraph margin say uh, let's say 10% under the and you can just see a little bit more of the chart there so that's the first stage now what we might want to do is say okay we want to uh, sell the trades after a certain number of bars so we could use the bar since entry so we could say if bars since entry and uh, if you don't if you need to know more about that you can right click it and uh, have a look in the trade station help equals 10 then sell next bar at market so let's just see what happens now well a couple of interesting things firstly you'll notice that trades 1 and 2 both sell on the same bar and uh, and then we get into the third trade now what is happening here is that even though we're pyramiding, oh and incidentally just uh, in case you don't know, in order to pyramid you have to go to strategies, say properties for all, and then you'll see this thing here which is uh, position limits for pyramid pyramiding, allow, I've said allow up to three entries orders in the same uh, direction. So you'll, you'll need to set that up if, uh, if you're using, if you're going to try this for yourself. So anyway, um, the point is that with pyramiding the bars since entry in other words this function here is counting from the first entry so that really isn't very useful for us in terms of the other entries so um, what I'm going to do here is first of all just um, identify well I'm going to say sell from entry and I'm going to call it the one and uh, we'll now just see what that does for us. Let me just go back to the chart. And now you'll see that we've just sold from entry one, but we're still in uh, entries entries two and three. So we need to find a way of dealing with that. Now, one way that we could try and do this would be using the current entries um, function. So let's just 
create a variable CE and I'm just going to say CE equals current entries. Okay, and then what we could say is something like this. Well, um, firstly, we're going to need to create some counters because we know now that passing entry is only from the first entry. We need to create a counter for entry two and a counter for entry three. And uh, so what I'm going to do is create a couple of things here in the variables. And I'm going to call it two counter to CTR, just to set it to zero initially. I'm going to set up another one called three counter and I'm going to set that to zero. And uh, I'm also going to set up another couple of other uh, conditions and uh, I'll explain these in a moment. Okay, so what we could try and do is say um, if current entries equals 2 and current entries the previous bar square brackets the previous bar was not equal to 2 then we could think well yes we've got into our second trade so we could then do a couple of things we could we could reset the two counter to zero and we could also say we're going to start counter or rather count two so we're going to set that to true we're going to end and uh, we could do a similar thing for for three so we could assume yeah we've got in three entries so CE is going to be current entries is going to be three and current entries the previous bar is not going to be three so we can reset the three counter and we can start count three okay and then uh, having done that we now need to do the counters so we would say something like if start or exactly like start count two is true we don't need to say equals true then two counter equals two counter plus one we just increment the two counter and similarly for three so I'm just going to copy that and then change it so I'm going to say for two count three then three counter equals three counter plus one so we've got now we've got two counters going on and uh, what we're going to uh, to do is try and get out of the trades using those those counters so I'm just going to copy this again and we're going to modify it so that it uses the counters so anyway um, this is going to probably take a couple of, uh, of YouTube videos and um, like to keep them under 10 minutes although I don't think that's the strict limit anymore so um, this is part one and uh, I will start a new video to continue part two thank you very much